welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that you guys have been requesting ever since you saw my Western Barrel Horse Gets an English Makeover video. Well, a lot of you guys have been asking for me to give myself an English makeover and I've been dying to do that for so long. As you can see, I'm dressed in my Western cowgirl attire. <laughs> I've never worn an English outfit before. Like this is what I usually look like if you see me at a horse show. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today. I'm giving myself an English makeover and you guys are coming along. This video is in collaboration with a couple brands. There are some things in here that were sent to me. I reached out to a couple of English brands because obviously I don't own any English clothing. I'm a Western rider. So I have so many cool things to show you and so many things I'm dying to put on. I will leave everything that I talk about in my description box below. I can't wait to see what it feels like to wear English clothes. I don't know. I can't wait. Like I've always just seen myself like this and I, I wonder what I would look like as an English rider in English apparel. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> bottom part of my outfit. I'm gonna start off with the belt. Now if you watched my uh, cowgirl combos video where I talked about my horseback riding accidents, you heard me talk about the time that my belt got stuck on my horn. Well, this is the belt that I was wearing that day and there's like a little rip here to remind me of that accident. I'll go ahead and show you guys. As you can see, there's a rip right here. So this is kind of like the only blingy belt that I own. It's my go-to for big horse shows and stuff like that. I really like it. I honestly don't know what brand it's from. I'm trying to look here at the sticker. I can't even see it. I think it might be from Angel Ranch. That's what it says here on the tag. I don't know if that's a brand. But yeah, this is my Western belt. I guess I need a new one because this rip is not going away. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about my jeans and again just like my belt this is the only pair of like blingy jeans that I own and I don't really go to too many horse shows but I am in the market for some more pairs of like blingy rodeo jeans because I usually have like my city girl jeans like my regular jeans from Aeropostale and stuff <laughs> but actual rodeo jeans like boot cut jeans these are the only pairs so these are my Western jeans and they have like this really nice stitching on the side that goes all the way down and it's cool because the stitching is kind of like glittery it has a sheen to it. It has a little bit of bling here on the back and I actually get a lot of questions about these jeans They're from the brand rock 47 by Wrangler. I bought them a long time ago when I went to this dude ranch They had like a little uh, tack store clothing store at the dude ranch and Rob got them for me I wear them like I said to every show. I do need to buy more jeans <laughs> They are a little bit big on me like right now I just washed them so they are tight But once I get on the horse and I ride for a little bit and I get off they are a little bit big I wish I would have gotten like one size smaller but I love them and they work <laughs> We're gonna move on to my boots. I get a lot of questions about my boots. These are actually brand new, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the ones that I get questions about all the time. You guys ask me what my favorite boots are, what I wear all the time, and Durango's are my favorite. I don't really change boots for shows. I know people have like their show boots and then their regular barn boots. I just wear my barn boots to horse shows. So these are the, I think they're the Rebel, Lady Rebel. Uh-oh, I honestly don't know the style name, but I'll leave them linked down below just like everything else if I find it. So just check the description box. I love them. I love Durango's. My favorite thing about them is that they're very light. They're not as heavy and I love the rubber soles. This is my second pair of Durango's and then these are my third. I bought them like three days ago. They are a little bit different. I've never had like such a dark pair. So I'm excited to wear them and I think I might keep these as my show boots. Like I'll try to take care of them and hopefully I can get another pair of Durango's that I can wear around the barn because these, these need to go. <laughs> I think I've used them up enough. So yeah, to answer your question because I get the question all the time. Those are Durango's. I post them a lot on my Instagram and you guys see them on my YouTube videos a lot. But yeah, I, I love these boots and they just came out with a waterproof version. Even though I thought these were waterproof for like everyday water stuff, they seem to work really well. So I'm excited to actually try the ones that are actually waterproof, but I couldn't find them at the store. Maybe I'll keep the waterproof ones for around the barn and I'll keep these as my show boots. <laughs> Okay, socks. <laughs> I get this question a lot too. I don't have specific socks that I wear with my boots. I've had a couple people ask me that. I just wear regular socks, like these are just ankle socks. So now that I've talked about the bottom half of my outfit, I'm gonna switch into the English version. Guys, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what I look like. Alright, when it comes to 
reaches, I reached out to Aztec Diamond Equestrian. These are the ones that they sent me and I'm so, so excited. I love them so much. I went on their Instagram and I just love their style. I love every piece that they design, every piece that they have. I just, I love it because it's so cool. They have hoodies, sweatpants, breeches, tops. You guys will see. I was so excited when they agreed to work with me. I can't wait to try on their whole outfit. Um, but for the breeches, let's not get ahead of myself. But these are their white technical breeches. They have some grip here on the inner thigh. And the bottom, which is so cool, kind of changes into this thinner, more breathable material. Because I guess this is the part that goes inside your boot. And I know that white is used a lot at horse shows and stuff like that. You guys, I did my research, okay? I did my research. White is used a lot in breeches, which I honestly don't understand why. I get so, so, so dirty around horses. So I can't imagine wearing white around horses. I'd have to like walk like this, not touching anything, not letting the horses get near me. I don't know how people do it. I've always had trouble staying clean around horses. So I'm gonna have to practice wearing these around the horses because I don't know how people do it. I don't know how they wear white, but I have to admit it does look so classy and so chic. They have the Aztec diamond stitching right here on the side with two little diamond studs. They have their logo detailing in the back. It has a button and those little side clip things. I don't know exactly what they're called, but it's like the little metal things that you loop. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and change into this. All right, you guys, this looks funny because my top half is Western and my bottom half is English, but look at the breeches. They look so cool. I love them. I feel so different already. I can't believe I'm wearing breeches. Can you believe that? Can you, would you have ever pictured me in breeches? I'm wearing breeches, I'm wearing breeches. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Right, now that I have my breeches on, we're gonna move on to the top half. <laughs> show shirt is actually from area and it was given to me by my friend Vivian I miss you so much Vivian if you're watching this thank you so much I wear it all the time it's kind of like my nicer show shirt if you will it has some nice little diamond jewels up here it has some glitter stitching as well um, as you guys can see it's pink and I'll try to find it I honestly don't know if I'd be able to find this but I'll leave it linked down below if I do find it for you guys and yeah so this is my show shirt my Western show shirt I learned my lesson a long long time ago to wear a tank top or a shirt underneath because funny story a long time ago I was at a barrel race and I don't know why this happens to me but it seems that everything gets caught on my horn first it was my belt and this time it happened to be my show shirt so I was running in the pattern going to my first barrel and I think it was after my third barrel when I was running home my shirt flies open and obviously I didn't know this back then I was not wearing a tank top I was wearing a bra don't worry that would have been the most embarrassing thing my whole I can't even imagine that happening to me but yes I was wearing a bra, but I wasn't wearing a tank top so my bra was out and I had to like grab my shirt like this and run home It was the most embarrassing thing and after that I learned my lesson I honestly don't know if anyone noticed because literally as soon as I felt it I just went like this. No one told me anything I think I got lucky and not that many people saw but yeah I learned my lesson after that and I've always worn a tank top or a t-shirt Plus that way I can kind of work with the horses before and not get so sweaty because I live in Florida and it's always hot here So usually what's under my show shirt is either a tank top or a t-shirt. Now for English shirts, I don't really know if you are supposed to wear anything underneath. For my shirt, I have two options that are from Aztec Diamond Equestrian again. Oh, I love their stuff and I can't believe they sent me two. So thank you so much again. So I have two options. One is like a show option. I just learned that for showing, you have to have like a white collar. I didn't know that. For Western, there isn't really much of a dress code. I think you do have to wear a long sleeve button up shirt like the one I showed you and jeans. And I think your shirt has to be tucked in. That's kind of what the dress code is for Western. So for English, it was really cool to learn that you have to have a white collar. So this is their diagonal panel show shirt. They have a bunch of different colors. The top is always white, which is so cool because you can have fun with the colors underneath, but under your jacket, you'll always have a white collar. So this is the stone color, which is like a gray. I love it. I'm so excited to put it on. And then the second shirt they sent me, this is their navy base layer. I love their base layers. Honestly, you guys have to teach me about this stuff because I'm not too familiar. I'm not sure if you can wear like a base layer like this at a show. I feel like maybe at just regular shows, you might be allowed to, right? I don't know. But for bigger shows, you do need a white collar. I am I'm gonna put on both today but to start off I'm gonna put on the show shirt since I did go from a Western show outfit so let's go ahead and try this on all right you guys <laughs> Look at my show shirt. What do you guys think? Here it is. I love it. It fits 
so nice. Now, obviously, I think this is all the way zipped up, right, when you're, when you're at a show, like that. And just like the Western, this has to be tucked. And what's cool about this that I love, it's not so long. Like, sometimes I find that my Western show shirts are so long, so when you tuck them in, you can kind of see your shirt underneath your jeans sometimes. So it's cool that it, there's not so much fabric. When you tuck in, you don't see the lines underneath your pants. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this in. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, so now I'm actually gonna try on the base layer. Just like this one, it has the front zip. I love the color. I wish I knew how to describe this fabric, but it has like this see-through fabric on the side so that you don't sweat as much. It's very, very breathable. It also has this little vent hole underneath your arm, which is perfect, because like I said, I live in Florida and sometimes you can get a little sweaty, okay? <laughs> uh, it's just so beautiful and it looks like it's gonna be so flattering, just like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on for you guys too. <laughs> Guys, this is so beautiful. I love it so much. It definitely is flattering. I love the zipper. You can zip it all the way up or leave it down. I'm not even gonna lie. I could totally wear this to a Western show as well, I think, right? If I just tuck this in in a cowboy hat and jeans, I think I've seen people wear stuff like this. I would love to wear this to a Western show as well. Just like the other one, it has to be tucked in. So I'll give you guys the full effect. You guys, I'm obsessed. This material here on the side is kind of that see-through mesh. There, that's the word I'm looking for, mesh. It's like a mesh material on the side, so it's not so hot. Yeah, I love it. I know the cowboy hat is throwing it off, but we're going step by step, okay? Step by step. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch back to the show outfit and we'll continue on to the rest of the outfit. the Tough Rider performance socks. I reached out to Tough Rider for a couple of things which you'll see um, and they were kind enough to send me socks as well. So there's three colors in this pack. We have like a navy blue, this beige, and a black. So I think I'm going to go with navy blue and we'll put on the socks. Because of English boots, I can understand why you'd need long socks like this and what's cool about these is that they're not too thick. I always wondered if the socks under your boots were thick or not because it just seems like having tall boots, socks, and then your breeches, it must be so hot but I feel like everything's designed to like fit perfectly with each other as you can see the breeches change right here it just changes into a different more breathable material even though the top is still breathable but it just has like that different material to fit well under the tall boots and the socks as well as you can see they're very thin so it's not like you have a bunch of layers underneath your boots these are the cool max it says cool max up here I'm um, gonna have the tough rider logo on the side so I have my socks on as you can see and now, we're gonna move on to the long-awaited boots. This is so different than a Western boot. Let me show you the tall boots I'm wearing today. Here they are. I kinda gave you guys a sneak peek on my Instagram. These are the Regal tall boots from Tough Rider. And again, thank you so much to Tough Rider for working with me on this video. I am so, so excited to try these on. The presentation is insane. Like, look at this. Like, I can't even believe this. Look how fancy this is, you guys. Your boots come in boot bags. Like, what? I've never had boot bags before. Is that what they're called, boot bags? I don't know, but it looks so pretty so fancy as you can see it has regal on them right here what I love about these boots is they're not expensive I was so worried I saw boots for like two thousand dollars I'm like oh my gosh that is a lot of money but their boots are so affordable but they're such nice quality let me go ahead and get them out of the bag to show you guys I love that they come in a bag I think it's the coolest thing it's like a whole experience oh my gosh I can't believe I'm gonna be wearing tall boots I'm gonna feel so different once I'm all dressed up here they are they feel so nice and the inside actually has like this little grip material which I think is so cool and so helpful to kind of like stick your leg to the saddle. It has a little buckle in the back as well as at the bottom near your heel and it has the Tough Rider little logo up here which I think looks so fancy. They have the laces up front and it's actually a square toe. <sighs> Guys, I'm like, I don't even know what to say. Like I've never worn anything like this. They come with this little, what's this called? I don't know, it just kind of holds your boot in place so it doesn't bend over like that <laughs> which I think is awesome so they don't come all ruined and smushed but let's go ahead and put it on oh i can't believe i'm doing this ready i'm trying to do it up here so you guys can see here we go oh my gosh i can't believe my outfit is like coming together <laughs> wow they fit so nice i was so nervous about that because i've never worn tall boots before so i wasn't sure like if they were gonna be uncomfortable or if they weren't gonna fit and i would have to like try on a bunch of different kinds but these fit perfectly i'm a size seven these are a size seven regular and they fit 
perfectly. So I just zip them up. You know what? I think this would be easier if I do this. And now I'm gonna put the little clamp. Guys, I'm wearing tall boots. What the heck? This feels so weird. It feels so different. And they're so comfortable. Like what? They're super comfortable. I thought they would be like painful and like stiff and I'd have to kind of like wear them in. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not called wear them in. What is it? You know, when you wear something, break them in. Break them in. I thought I'd have to break them in, but they're, they don't feel stiff or, or uncomfortable. The inside is perfect for holding on. As you guys know, I haven't written English before, so I might need that at first. Another thing I noticed about English boots that Western boots don't have, I thought this was like a built-in spur, but I recently found out that they're not. It's what holds your spur in place, these little, I think, spur holders, so your spurs don't fall all the way to the bottom. I guess it's supposed to hold them. Also, it has like this elastic right by the zipper, so it stretches and molds to your calf. I honestly feel like I have big calves compared to my ankles, so I was so worried that I wasn't gonna find boots that fit, but I'm so surprised at how well these fit. This buckle up here has some elastic as well to stretch. I have to put it on like this so you guys can see. Oh my gosh. What? And then you buckle down here, and you buckle up here. Done. <laughs> the belts and I actually have two these are from Will's vegan shoes they come in these little baggies which I think is so cute and I have two colors I don't know which one would work better with my outfit this one has a gold buckle and this one has a silver buckle one is thinner one is thicker I honestly think let's see I don't know you know what I think I'm gonna go with this gold buckle the material of these belts feels so nice they feel so well made I love how it's like dainty and very simple but I feel like you can wear this with any outfit and it instantly like dresses it up. Now when it comes to belts, there's a drastic difference between Western and English. With English belts, I've noticed that they're all simple, very clean and sleek. So that's why I got these two. I'm so excited to wear these. Like, And not only for this English outfit, I feel like I can wear these out with just regular clothes as well, which I can't say about my Western belt. <laughs> I feel like my Western belt is very, very out there. But with belts like these, I feel like they go with any outfit. So let's go ahead and put this on. You guys should let me know in the comments if there's like a specific rule against like the color of buckles if it has to be silver or if it can be gold as well. I feel like I've seen both. This is what it looks like. Oh, I feel so fancy. <laughs> wow, you guys, what a difference, especially in the belt. I feel like the belt is like the biggest thing that you can notice. Whoa, okay, that's a huge, well, I can't say that. I feel like everything about English attire is completely different than Western. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the hair, which I think is one of the biggest things that kind of tie the outfit together and really make it look English. <laughs> So this is usually how I wear my hair. I usually wear it down with my hat on. I totally forgot to tell you guys about my cowboy hat, but this cowboy hat is actually from Wrangler and it actually belongs to Rob. <laughs> but I wear it all the time. I'm very picky when it comes to the shape of cowboy hats. So when I find one that actually suits my face and the shape of my head, I kind of stick with it. <laughs> I'll try to find this one and I'll link it down below for you if I do find it, but it's from Wrangler. I feel like this is something that is kind of enforced when it comes to Western shows. You have to have a hat on. I'm not too educated on that, but I think in most Western disciplines, you have to show with a hat on or you can wear a helmet. But when it comes to English shows, I think you have to wear a helmet, always. I don't think there's any English disciplines that allow you to compete without a helmet. That is a really big difference when it comes to English and Western. Talking about the helmet, I'm gonna show you guys my English helmet. Here it is. I reached out to Troxel and they were so kind to send me a helmet. Now, I think this is a new design. They just came out with this and they just changed their logo. This is the Avalon Black Edition. They have a really cool rose gold one and a gray one. It's so sleek, so pretty. Like, I love how it goes from matte to shiny. I wasn't sure about the sizing. I got a medium. You can actually pull this stuff out and wash it, which I didn't know. It also has like this mesh in the front for ventilation. This is gonna really pull the outfit together. But first, we have to do our hair. I've never seen anyone compete in any English shows with their hair down, so I did my research. Let's go ahead and do my hair. All right, so I totally have a hat line, <laughs> but we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna go ahead and do my hair. So one thing that I had to shop for that I don't really need for Western is hairnets. This is highly used in English competitions. I'm not sure if you have to have to have to have a hairnet, but all the videos I've watched, they use hairnets. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of 
follow what I learned when it comes to the hair thing. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm gonna sit like this so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Even though you probably don't need to learn from me because I just learned this. So you gotta put your hair in a ponytail. I think it has to be a low pony. Now, as you guys can see, I kind of have baby hairs back here. I don't know if you're supposed to like, I don't know, hit gel or you're supposed to shave it. Maybe you have to like hairspray that. I don't think I have hairspray. No, I'll try and kind of scoop it into my ponytail and hopefully it won't look too sloppy. All right, ponytail is done. I feel so weird already. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and grab a hairnet. I feel like I'm gonna break this. It's so thin. I've never worn a hairnet before. So this is so like different and so, I don't know, it's so weird. Hold on, I did something wrong. I noticed that you're supposed to cover your ears. Your hair is supposed to cover your ears kind of halfway. Actually, I'm gonna have to do this again. I'm so used to putting my hair behind my ears so this feels so different. Okay, now we're gonna put on the hairnet and I think you have to put the knot in the front. I don't even know. We're gonna go like this, I think, all the way down and then cover your ears. Not to mention, this is kind of hard without a mirror since I'm doing this for my first time. Wait, was I supposed to put the hairnet in my scrunchie? Whoa, okay, this is a lot harder than I thought. I think I'm supposed to tie the hairnet like into the scrunchie, but then it's coming off. This is not working out. I'm struggling. I'm not gonna put it into the scrunchie. Let's just see how it looks without doing that. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna put the hairnet on. Maybe this wasn't the best hairnet to use. I feel like it might be too flimsy for this. Okay, whatever. We have step one done. I'm gonna slide this up to my hairline, I think. Okay, then we're gonna grab the helmet. We're gonna put it on. Oh wait, what the heck? I have to put my ponytail in the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over like that. I think my hair's too long for this. I'll just kind of do this. And then put my hairnet from back to forward. Okay, this is so hard. I am totally struggling right now. This goes front. I think I'll tuck it in after I put the helmet on. This goes from back to front. Okay, and then I gotta tuck my hair in it. Okay, I am really struggling here, but I think I might have done it. Okay, all right. Whoa, <laughs> oh, I feel so different. I haven't even seen myself in the mirror, but I feel like, is this okay over here? I don't know. Is this good? Is it supposed to be tighter? I don't know these things, but here I am with my helmet on. Wow. I feel like a different person. <laughs> I feel so different already, but we are not done. I'm missing two more things. Okay, next up is my show jacket. Now, I actually bought this today right before the video because I totally forgot that you need a show jacket to show. I just thought you showed like this, but I realized that's the point of the white collar is so that it pops out out of your show jacket, right? So I got this one. This is the RJ Classic show jacket. English is so fancy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Oh my God, you guys, I'm like so shocked. I feel like a different person. Wow. Oh my god, <laughs> I look so different. This is so weird. I cannot believe that I look like this right now. This is so different for me. <laughs> okay, wow, how do I look? This is my show jacket. <laughs> wow, you guys, I feel so different. I can't even put it into words. I've never worn anything like this, and it's so cool how the white part is designed specifically for the show jacket. You can't even see any of the gray. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> I look so different. I can't get over the fact that I look like a completely different person. Like, what the heck? I've never dressed like this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move on to the last part of this outfit because this is not it. This is not it. And this is something that Western riders don't really have to wear because I've never seen a Western rider wear this and I've noticed a lot of English riders do and I actually had to do some research to find out why this is worn. What I've been talking about is riding gloves. I've never worn riding gloves and I didn't understand why you had to wear them for English stuff, but apparently when you're showing, it's like harder to see your hands or something like that. Like, I don't know, it's like this. You can totally see if your hand is like moving a lot and I guess you have to look very pristine and simple when you're riding. So if your hand's like moving a lot and doing a lot of stuff, you can get points deducted. I don't know, something like that. But I think it's really cool and it looks so fancy and I'm excited to kind of see how the whole outfit comes together. All right, let's do 
this <laughs> wow i guess your hands really are obvious when it's like against black long sleeves oh i didn't even tell you where these are from these are from noble outfitters they have kind of like this faux velvet and the top of it has this very breathable material these are the perfect fit gloves okay let's put this on like i said i've never had to wear gloves for riding so this is totally different for me let's see what we look like guys i'm like shocked i can't believe i'm seeing myself like this okay you see now i totally get it look how obvious this hand is and like this hand is not that obvious that's so crazy i am done this is crazy i'm totally mind blown i don't even know how to feel this is so cool i feel super fancy i feel like everything about this is so different than western attire i've never seen myself like this <laughs> struggled with the hair thing if you have tips on that leave them down below <laughs> thank you so much to all the brands that worked with me on this video i'm so glad i did this it was so cool to see myself dressed so differently i'm so used to like the western world and the western clothes i don't know it felt cool to be, be an english rider for a day well to look like an english rider for a day so now that i have my english outfit who knows what other videos i'm planning Hmm. <laughs> anyway, if you guys like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Cindy Valentina. I would love it if you subscribed. All you gotta do is just click that red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I upload a video. I'm gonna try and do shout outs in my videos now. I've been asked to do so many shout outs, so I'm finally gonna pick someone at the end of every video. All you gotta do is just leave me a comment down below letting me know that you've turned on your notifications for my channel. That's it. Again, I will leave everything that I wore in this video in the description box down below. Tough Rider is providing you guys with a discount code. It's 20% off your entire purchase if you use the code Valentina Cowgirl. I'm so, so happy that I was able to get a coupon code for you guys. So definitely check out their website. They have so many equestrian attire, even stuff for your horses. So definitely check it out. I absolutely love the boots. That was one thing I was so nervous about. I honestly thought I would have to break them in for a couple of weeks. But as soon as I put them on, they were so comfortable. I'll leave the link to their website in my description box. That's it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!